Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, we have an ongoing experiment going on with the uh, HARP Alaska uh, project. Uh, there's actually a lot of, uh, there's even a, for, a, um, a form that uh, amateur radio operators can fill out. Uh, they are asking for amateur radio operators for some input. So uh, some um, auroral projects and some um, sub-auroral projects it's all happening. It started uh, last night and going on through uh, August 15, so it's a few days. It's August 12 to 15 UTC. Uh, there will be conducted some experiments. They say that the all, all transmissions will be between 2.8 and 10 megahertz. And there's the a complete list of the research that they're going to do with each day that they're going to transmit. So uh, we'll be... Um, We'll be uh, checking out what exactly it's all about. Uh, so, for example, today we are August um, 13th, which means that from 2020 to 24 to 0 UTC, uh, which means it's pretty much starting now when I'm actually doing this, um, there's going to be some activity. And also tonight at 0 to 0, 315. So this is going to be interesting. Then tomorrow... There's going to be more, 22.15 to 0 UTC. And um, there's going to be um, one last extended operation on August 15 from 0 to 0.745. So uh, that means it's going to be uh, tomorrow night, um, Thursday in North America, um, until uh, into the night of Friday. So... Where are the frequencies? Well, the frequencies are going to be listed at different places. What I usually do is go on the um, World of Radio I.O. group uh, because a lot of, uh, a lot of um, guys there actually monitor this and post frequencies where they see unusual things happen that are probably really related to the HARP experiments. And, um, of course, this is going to be something to check out um, if can pop up anywhere uh, but uh, there's a document that you can download and this is the document it contains a lot of information I suggest that you go and read this and check out all the info and uh, we'll see what uh, frequencies they might be using for their experiments at the same time and uh, hopefully maybe you make videos of some of the experiments if I can hear these signals here uh, in Montreal and um, if I find some frequencies where HARP is supposed to be, I will share them on the Facebook group and also on my uh, Blue Sky account so that you can check out. I know that uh, HARP also has a Blue Sky account where info might also pop up about the frequencies being used during the tests. So link to this document in the description below. And hopefully you'll be successful in hearing some signals coming out of the Alaska Research Center. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.